Hello from Petco Park in beautiful downtown San Diego. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. All right, we'll be back. To Just about to get underway. And today on the Hill, Blake Snell. Four-pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. You know, Chris, Blake does everything right-handed except for everything he does while playing baseball. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. And it's into the gap. Bets around second, headed for third. In comes the first run of the game. It's 1-0 Dodgers. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. And here it comes. There's the strike. Helpful. No outs, runner on second. Stays alive. Three, two down. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes and one gone. That was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at bat alive. And Hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss. And you go back to the dugout shaking your head. Chris, you look at Blake Snell's resume, a former first-round pick by the Rays in 2011, but really, oh, this pitch rides in too far. That got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, he went after him right there with one of his best pitches. I'm really surprised that one got away from him. Here is J.D. Martinez. Oh. And downstairs. Yeah, this guy really has solid stuff and can stand up when he's effective getting ahead of hitters early in the count. When he doesn't, those outings that maybe should have gone seven, maybe eight innings, end up being five, maybe six. Swing and a miss. Two, ball. two balls, two strikes. Got him. Two away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. It's off his chest. Here comes Freddy around third. Tatis fires it to the plate, and he's in there. A run comes in on the play. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So two down. Here's Kike Hernandez. And now the lefty fights it off. He'll see another. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Now here is James Outman. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Base is loaded, two down. That's a strike, and it's two and two. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Oh. 
He goes down looking. Back here at Petco Park. Today's starting pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first, heading for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Against good pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. So a man aboard, Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Next offering in the dirt, two and one. And there's a ball. And now a full count. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He's safe. They pick up a run, and now it's a one-run game. Picks himself up an RBI. Backdoor breaky ball, and he did go the other way with it like you might think, but he put a good swing on it, squared it up nicely. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Snap throw to first, no, he's and he's back in standing. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit now the youngster wants Soto ball. next That's pitch inside. inside ball two Kershaw fires on the ground a second might be two there's one relay to first double play Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Fights that one away, still one and two. Here comes a pitch. And now it's even up. It's a good take. Two balls, two strikes. That one to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Third out, and that ends the frame. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a... Back here in San Diego, new inning getting started. And the batter will be the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Next pitch is outside. Singy, he wasn't real sharp in the first, got hit around, but really more so, didn't throw a ton of strikes. Well, he's just got to find a way to settle down. He was clearly fighting himself out there, not really finding the strike zone, walking batters. So we'll see if he can get back on track and fill up the zone a little bit more. Chris, you know, it's a little-known fact. Mookie Betts' uncle was Terry Shumpert, who played 14 years in the big leagues. The 1-1 is fouled off. Yeah, Shump spending time with the Royals, Red Sox, Cubs, Padres, Rockies, and Tampa Bay Rays. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. One ball. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. That one ripped. Grisham reaching back towards the wall. Back some more. On the warning track. And hauls it in. Dodgers down in order. Bottom of the second. And here is Xander Bogarts. That's your pitch. 
Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands Not whatsoever. Good. Such no, a good no, feeling. No, Absolutely no, hammered no, that no, baseball. No, Very loud no, coming no. off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Bogarts stands at second with no outs. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That's ball two. One out and a runner at second. Next offering is foul back. Two and two. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Outman fires it to the plate. The tag out. Stepping in for San Diego, Matthew Batten. Ball to strike. Runner on the go. There's a swing and a drive. Outman ranging back. Still going back. And caught on the warning track. One left for San Diego. They're down. Back here at the ballpark. The batter now will be Will Smith. And a 1-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Soto gets under it. Hauls it in and there's one away. Max Muncy at the dish. Hit by a pitch his first time up. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. And now two and two. And a pitch. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back, and gone. A towering home run, and they add to their lead. It's 3-1. He got on plane with that high fastball, and look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. And here is J.D. Martinez. One down, base is empty. That one is absolutely belted here JD Martinez takes him deep and they add on it's 4-1 back to back Jacks and this club is fired up right now Boog I mean this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other and the collective confidence just continues to grow Chris Taylor now the 1-1 is fouled off Pitcher's probably thinking he's a little late on that pitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed him up, not give him something off speed that he can handle. Next one misses. It's two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two down. And next for L.A., Enrique Hernandez worked to walk in his first trip to the plate.
The three one. Popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. But the long ball was working. Welcome back. And here's the rookie catcher, Brett Sullivan. The catcher. Well, after putting up a nice oh, inning on yeah. offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. On the ground right side. Bats up with it. Gets it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Number seven. Ha Sung Kim digs in now. One for one with a double and a run score. The wind and the pitch. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Line drive, caught! Nice swing and good, solid contact. That ball was smoke, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. Oh, and he hit him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Juan Soto down. 0 for 1 so far. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Start of the fourth. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. James Outman. The 2 1. And a swing and a miss there. Bullpen activity starting up now. Rich Hill getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Avila getting cranked up as well. Got him swinging. Some high cheese for strike three. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass. It's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Bogarts with the throw to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. And now it's Mookie Betts. A strikeout and a walk. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. Yeah. Cooper takes it to the bag, and the inning is over. Dodgers go down quietly, but they lead it. Bottom four, and now it's Manny Machado. The pitch. Bounce to the left side. Machado out of the play. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And here comes Sander Bogarts. Doubled in his first A.B. The pitch. And that one upstairs. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Hard hit, left side. Tosses to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Up next to the hard ball. The first base station, Garrett. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Two outs. And one and two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Caught him looking for the K. Three up, three down for San Diego, and this is still a... So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Rich Hill. 
Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Swings and misses, struck him out. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strike. That Ball one three. missed. And that's nope. ball four. Ball four. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on the tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes... As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Two and one to J.D. Oh, that's out. There's a strike. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and that'll do it. One left. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the center fielder, Trent Grisham. This guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. Boots it. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Now the third baseman, Matthew Batten. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And now the catcher comes up to him. Brett Sullivan grounded out his first time. That's inside. Now two balls and a strike. And a big swing and a miss. Kicks and deals. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now the left fielder, Chris Taylor. Taylor. That misses. Three and one now. Swings through that one. The wind of the pitch. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That's got a chance. And that is gone. Chris Taylor blasts one out. And they add to the lead. It's 5-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. So digging in, Enrique Hernandez. He's 0 for 1. Center field. Grisham settles under it. And there's one down. And stepping okay. in okay. is the speedy the James baby. Outman, James. who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Okay. the outside corner and the count one, ball, one and two activity in the bullpen Pedro Avila getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin 
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Good contact guy, good defender. 2-2 now. And that skips in the dirt. Got him. And that will end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 5-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball. Back here at Petco Park, here's the second baseman, ha -Sung Kim. The pitch. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. Hey. Struck him out looking. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Hammers that one deep left field, and forget it. He'll touch them all, and they're chipping away. It's 5-2. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. This one absolutely screamed out of here, Singy. A laser. Statcast tells us it was 112 miles an hour off the bat. Yeah, it left in a real hurry and didn't go that far because of the launch angle being a little flatter, but clearly it had all the velocity it needed to leave the yard. Pitch misses outside, and it's three and two. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Payoff pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Grinding A-B right here, about to see pitch number 10. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the... So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, number 80. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Ball to strike, the pitch. In the dirt, kicks away from the catcher. <laughs> the 2 1. Just missed. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team, he is a professional hitter. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. And down on strikes he goes. And the Padres waste a chance. It's Xander Bogarts now. One for two. And the righty deals. That's the ball. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Brewstar Grotterol preparing to come on if needed. Ferguson, the lefty, warming up as well. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. In the dirt. And the throw gets away. Coming around third is Soto. And 
Now the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Bounced up the middle. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. He decides to eat it, and that leaves him with runners at first and third after a tricky play. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. The 1-1. Swings through that one out in front that time. The 1-2. In the air, right side. Hernandez has it sized up. Brings it in for the third out. So two runs in the inning on three hits, including the home run. One error, but two are left stranded. Next offering is in for a strike. That one missing inside. Next offering way off the plate. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Battling here as he fouls it away. Good solid contact right there just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that bat side just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. Got him swinging. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. One for three. The one-one. Swing and a miss and he waves at that one. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's his second strikeout. Now, well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Do it for the Dodgers here, then it remains 5-3. Back here in San Diego, set for the last half of the seventh. Leading off, Matthew Batten. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. Got him. And that's the first out. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. The 2 2 now. That misses off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Goes down looking. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. And it gets by him. Two outs, runner at first. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. He's already homered here in this one. Tatis waits. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Ryan Yarbrough. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. Padres leave a pair. They're still down, 5-3. Concentrating my balance, give life a better chance. I'm too involved in God, not tell And now it's Max Muncy. He's already homered in this game. Max 
Muncy. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, that gives him a runner, and maybe they can turn it into something more. With nobody out, a lot of things can happen here in this inning. And a payoff pitch. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Kicks and fires. In the dirt, well done behind the dish. And a pitch. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Fly ball down the line. Fair ball! Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded, only one away. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. Not close with that one, and it's two and one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Can't get too big here, Boog, with the bases loaded. Left-hand hitter waits. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Rip to third and caught. Man, that could have been a big swing in this game. Just unlucky at a really unfortunate time right there. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One is fouled off. One, two now. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. And the Dodgers leave him loaded as they hang on to their. Back here at the ballpark, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's going to be Manny Machado. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that match up again. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Brewstar Grotterol will take over here. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. In the air, out to center. Makes the grab, one away. Oh, the throw is wild. Now, back, back. The first base is Garrett. Garrett Cooper, the next up for the Padres. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. The next pitch misses. And the count's even at two. Way to lay off that pitch down. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And he deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, oh, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. The 2-2. 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. So remaining in the game defensively, Jose Azogar. He'll be out center now after pinch hitting. Now on the bump, Luis Garcia. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Mookie Betts. In the air, left field. Soto gets under it. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That one drifts inside. Action in the pen down there. Ray Kerr getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Hammer, base hit. Boog, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. And now Will Smith. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Freeman leads off first with one away. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And down on strikes. And that is that. So one hit is all they get. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Evan Phillips. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Just oh, outside. Awesome, two balls, two strikes. Right through there, got him. And that's the first out. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Brett Sullivan. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's off the mark. Two and one. And yeah, that's outside. And the right-hander deals. And there's the strike. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Righty delivers. This one in the air right field. Hernandez sizing it up. And there's two away. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Ha Sung Kim. Right handed reliever. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. And now it's one and two. And that's in the dirt. Two, two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Well struck left field. That's back there. And that one is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing, and they inch closer. It's 5-4. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. It bad was very patient, and it paid off. Batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. 
swings and misses. It's two and two. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Off the mark there. And now three and two. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. Swing and a miss. And that's the ball game. Well, he does a nice job of coming in and getting the save. He made a mistake with the pitch, gave up the solo home run, but he maintained his focus to push through to the finish line. Close one here today, and your final 5-4.